I'm Donald Jones, Buffalo Bills wide receiver number 19, and I'm watching Jack Up the Rev. Good job. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the eighth installment of Jack Up the Rev Sports Recap with the Jam Bar. I'm your host, Joe Cotulo. Right now, we are standing in the tailgating lot. Penguins versus Red Flash. Let's go to the highlight reel. Penguins elected to receive the ball. They got down the one. Toss to Jermaine Cook. He's going. He's in the end zone. First touch out of the game. But that would not be all for Cook. Later in the first quarter, has his back in shotgun formation. And the receiver moves over, he hikes it, and once again, Jermaine Cook goes up the middle this time, boom! His second touchdown in the game made it 14-0 Penguins at that time. Here, let's get St. Francis in the highlights. Here's a field goal. That helped prevent the shutout, 14-3 at that point. But right after, Kurt Hess takes a snap. He's back, he looks, he's going, and caught! Christian Bryant's fourth touchdown of the year. 21-3 Penguins at that point. Now in the second quarter, Jermaine Cook once again. No one can stop him. Touchdown Penguins. Cook's third of the game. 28-3 YSU at this point. And they were still not done. On the next drive, after they held St. Francis to zero points, Kurt Hess is looking. No, he hands it off. But Darren's Bellamy in the game now. Ha! Huh, small world. Everybody's getting touchdowns. 35-3 Penguins lead. Still in the second quarter. Still 35-3. Ball's hit off, I think you can't really see it. Boom, he breaks out some tackles. It's Jermaine Cook again. His fourth rushing touchdown in the game. 42 to three the score. Same score that stood at halftime. Fourth quarter here, Jordan Thompson. School tying 95 yard rushing touchdown. The Penguins wound up winning the game 49 to 23. A run like that makes me exhausted. <laughs> uh, but I mean, anytime I can touch the ball wherever I am, I just like to play. It's just like, it just feels good to be doing well, you know, somebody's watching. Overall, it was a good effort, and I uh, was concerned probably coming into the game a little bit that we might come out flat and not be ready to play. But uh, we did come out ready to play, and that's encouraging. And, uh, you know, it's a win. Last week, volleyball competed on Friday and were swept by Cleveland State University. They are now 2-21 and 21 as the season begins to wind down. The YSU soccer team are starting to wind up this season. They play Friday at home against Valparaiso University, 3 o'clock at Stanball Stadium. They are 2-3-1 and one at home this season. Before the game, I caught up with former Youngstown State wide receiver Donald Jones and asked him on his opinions on how the Buffalo Bills are doing this year. Um, well, you know, for us, we always knew that we had the talent. Um, last year, we were in a lot of games, you know, with teams that were in the playoffs and things like that and lost. Um, we have a very young team. Like I said, we always knew we had the talent, but... Guys just had to make the plays, and you know, we're getting more mature every year. Guys are making plays, and we're winning games. So, I, I, I'm not sure if it's a shock to us, but it's a shock to everybody else. This has been another edition of a sports recap of the Jam Bar. I'm Joe Cotulo, and remember always to jack up the ref.